Good morning. It's like no one here. We <laughs> feel like I need to whisper. We, um, we seem to be spending a lot of time at Blue Water. Uh, but that's where we are. We just dropped Lilia off for her induction. Sure, She's only going to be here for an hour and a half. So we're going to go and get some breakfast from Starbucks. <gasps> so Phoebe can't believe how empty it is. Look, show me them. What? How empty. Oh. There's no one here. It's empty. And then we're going to pick Lilia up from her training. I look so tired, I did not sleep well last night. And we're going to go and pick our pumpkins. So obviously we don't have Dan's car at the moment, which means we've got my golf buggy. Hello. <laughs> it looks so Hello. small when it's got lots of people in it. But my boot is already full of our wellies for pumpkin picking and our picnic. Oh. Now I've got to get in our shopping as well. Stops outside yarn shops. I don't know where we're going to put the pumpkins. Yes, that's my... Hello. You're going to have to just have the Let me give a car tour. <laughs> you want to give a car tour? Yeah. Hello. It won't take long. <laughs> yeah, like, this is my foot space. This is my window. Well, that like you have to top. open like so that. Good. And it's fantastic. And this Great. is the front. <laughs> and now I will film Lily's area. <laughs> um. um and can I just say to the vlog, we managed to get a spot at our favourite pi pi pineapple picking farm. No, and it's not him in Penya Day. Pumpkin picking farm. So we're going there. Are you zooming in on me or something? No, no I'm okay. just holding the camera steady. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 This is Halloween. 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 You started it. Good choice, Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pumpkins. Pumpkins. I'm in my crazy uh, car sunglasses. Oh, we are on the giant chair. We need to get one with Dad in it. A lone man in a pumpkin patch. It seems like we're doing a horse. Seems to be counting pumpkins. I want to go all the way down the bottom over there. Like down this track. That's your, is that your male model pose? <laughs> <laughs> so from the pumpkin patch, take my sunglasses off for this bit. Lilia's going to help me. She's not around these days, are you? No, busy, Whoop. busy, busy, busy. That fell down a hole. Okay. It's you do that middle one. Middle one. What one? So, that, that one there. Ah, Stephanie Miller's birthday. Happy birthday, Stephanie Miller. Yes. Happy birthday. Also, Merjam, I hope I'm saying that right, and her daughter have got the same birthday today. They are 42 and 6. Nice. So happy birthday, you two. Hope you're having a lovely joint celebration. And Lynn Sphere, it's your birthday today oh, as well. It's a cool name. It's a beautiful name. So that's Merjam and her daughter, Stephanie Miller and Lynn Sphere. Happy birthday to all of you and to anyone else who has a birthday or an anniversary today from 
the pumpkin patch at Benancle Farm in... Ooh, 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 ooh. That's actually what it's called. Ooh. Oh, look, they found something. We're going to go and find our pumpkin and see a sea of orange down there. I can also see it. We have successfully managed to get all four of us the picnic, the shopping and £23 worth in money of pumpkins into my car. It's the TARDIS, this car. Whether the car will now move, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we're not going to have, it's still quite, we got in much earlier than we thought we would. So we're actually going to drive home and also we need to wash our hands. We're a bit muddy. So we're going to drive home, wash our hands and have our picnic in the comfort of the kitchen. In the comfort of the kitchen. Yes. So we're having our picnic at home, but with extra things like pepperoni and cheddar cheese. Why wouldn't so you bring that? Baby bells, anyway. laughing cow, laughing cow blue, lots of tiger bread, corn picnic eggs, grapes, pepperoni and cheese. Ooh, the best thing to do things? is to put laughing cow you'll get them put pepperoni on top of it. That's exactly what I was going to do. Every so often I come down and find a chicken in my kitchen. This one, good girl. Take it from Lilia. Over there. Oh, small. Ah! Lilia, she's your own chicken. Good girl. I'm on a bit of a sorting out roll. I started to tidy up some of the clutter that was around the house, mainly because of the stuff that's around the house because of Dan's car being in the garage. And that led me to sorting out the porch and all the coats. So I've got about seven or eight coats that need to be washed and given to the charity shop now, which is brilliant. It's cleared a load of space. And then I remembered this is in our porch and it takes up room on our shoe rack for at least two pairs of shoes, which we need. So I'm gonna sort it out because this is all our winter gloves and so on and random parking signs that my dad once bought back from Florida. I don't spell my name with two L's so unfortunately, but he said it was the only one he could find. <laughs> so this is a mixture of commercial stuff and handmade stuff. So this is, these are quite new and they belong to one of the girls. They were a lovely, lovely gift. They smell very fresh and clean, so they don't need a wash or anything. And the girls know which one of them they belong to. And we've all got our own box for winter stuff. So this is where this is all going to be distributed to. These are ones that my mum made for Dan, fingerless gloves. They could probably do with a wash. 
Uh, they're just acrylic yarn, so they're easy to wash. These are really hard to make, actually. It's a pattern from the Happy Hooker book. And you you um, crochet them flat. And of course, I decided to do it in black, which is really hard on the eyes. And then I added a little applique butterfly, uh, like that. I don't ever wear these, but they're really... I made them quite snug. I like my my gloves and to be quite snug. And they're really comfy. I made them out of cotton. Hmm. I might keep those. I like them. This is a pair of hand warmers that my mum made. I think these are Phoebe's. They're really cute. So I'll put those in Phoebe's pile. Um, I'm not sure why these are in with the gloves. Might have been when we used to have roses out the front, so it was handy to have them in the porch. But they can go with the other things in the garden. I made these. This was when... So I've got a pattern for some crochet hand warmers. It's on my other channel, and I'll put a link to it underneath. I designed the pattern in order to do a tutorial for beginners. And this was one of the prototypes. This isn't actually what I ended up doing. I, they're not granny square hand warmers, uh, the final design, because I didn't like how the granny squares sat slightly wonky if I did them like that. But the yarn I used for these is so gorgeous. And I'm going to keep them because they really are cosy and lovely and pretty. These are some leather gloves that are Dan's. I'll ask him if he still wants those because I have never haven't seen him wear these in years. This is another pair of gloves that I made. And the yarn, I dyed myself. Um, I did some natural dyeing and I dyed it with the... One of them's the skins of the fruit that you get on passion flowers. And one is the seeds from the fruit that you get on passion flowers. So that's how I dyed this. So I've got kind of a brown and a yellow, which I really liked. And these are really comfy and I love the stitch pattern. This is a pattern by Naomi at Cozy Cute Knits. I can see that this needs a good wash where they've been sitting in the basket, but they're a really lovely pattern. I can't remember the name of them now. Little cable pattern. Give those a wash. I think I made these in acrylic yarn as well. This is a lovely pattern. I used to make these all the time. It's a crochet cable hand warmer pattern. I'll try, I'll try and find what the patterns are for all of these and link them underneath. But yeah, I used to make these a lot. These particular ones are too small for me though. I can't really move my fingers. So I'll see if the girls want them and if not, I'll give them to the charity shop. These are definitely now too small. I've had these for years, but I really like them. Might keep them. Make me feel a bit Dickensian. <laughs> but I'll give them a wash. Oh, there's another pair of those um, mitts, but I accidentally felted these. I really, I, I used to wear these a lot. But I accidentally felted them when I washed them. They smell nice from where I washed them. Just old commercial gloves. And this was before I was even a knitter, when I first started getting into handmade things, I bought these on Folksy, from a seller on Folksy, and they are knitted arm warmers. And I remember at the time thinking it was so clever. I couldn't imagine anyone, like the, how clever someone was to be able to do this. And now I look at it and think, yeah, I could do that. I could knit that. I've actually knit this cable pattern before. They need a bit of debobbling with my debobbling thing, but I love these. Look how long they are. So I'm not going to get rid of those. And they smell nice too, so they don't even need a wash. Got a bit of lavender in here, but I think it needs topping up. That's fine, I've got plenty of lavender. And then these are mine of old. They are suede. Look at that. Oh, driving gloves. I think they need a bit of a wash though. Can you even wash suede gloves? I'll look it up because I do like them. They feel a bit grown up and they're really soft inside. They're kind of lined. Oh, yeah, I might see if I can wash them. Sponge clean, it says. Okay, 
I can do that. I can sponge clean them. And then this is one of a pair of hand um, arm warmers that were made for me and then Lilia stole them because she loves them so much. I'm guessing the other one is in her box. So I will um, return it to its twin. Uh, but I really like these. But Lilia likes them even more. Ooh. So cosy. And then what have we got in here? Oh, right. These are extra special precious because they're all in this little bag. I made these. This was the very first thing I made off pattern. Made it up and it's with the most exquisite alpaca wool that we bought directly from the farm and I made loads and loads of mini granny squares and I sewed them all together and it's really fine. I think it's somewhere between a, fing a lace weight and a fingering weight and I just made these really loose kind of wrist warmers. I really like them. I don't wear them much, but I do really like them. I made these with uh, leftover yarn from some socks that I made my sister. And this yarn will always make me think of my dad because it was the yarn I was working on when my dad was ill in hospital. The little wrist wristies, I just made it up. So I just did a, um, a tube actually, and then with ribbing at each end. And then when I got and when I separated my tube, I then did this um, moss stitch around the top. really like them, actually. I might make some more like that. I don't think I wrote down how I did it, though, but I'm sure I'll be able to work it out. Looks fairly simple, doesn't it? Ooh, keep those on. And then these were made for me by uh, my friend Lily of the Lily of Norway podcast. And they are proper Norwegian uh, mittens. I'm going to have to take these off to show you. And she was really worried that they weren't going to fit me and they couldn't fit me more perfectly. They fit my hands exactly. And I love them. Look at those. I'll link all the patterns I can that I can find underneath. We are off to get our magic bag we ordered. Phoebe really wanted to be able to come and pick one up. So we've ordered another one from Londis up the road. So really it can only get worse, Connie, because last time it was so epic. My hair's like this because I've had a bath. Somebody asked if we have a shower. Yes, we do. We've got, we've got two bathrooms and in one of them there is a shower. And uh, we use it frequently, every day in fact, but when I want to relax. She's only, not a shower person. I'm She's not a, a shower, shower person. person. I'm a bath person. Right, let's go. We are back. We are very hot from our walk. And Phoebe's going to lay out before you everything we got in magic bag number two, which I think may have surpassed magic bag number one. <laughs> What's it called, Phoebe? It's called a vegetable lettuce bake. Lattice, lattice, not lettuce. Lettuce, oh. lattice bake. We've got a creamy peppercorn steak bake, which we all really liked last time. Mm -hmm. We've got two of those. Yes. Cheese and smoked ham, you like that one last Cheese time? Cheese and smoked ham baked. Two of those. Two of those, yeah. A bacon and cheese turnover. What? That sounds good. Ooh, two fried chicken <laughs> and cheese. Oh, that's a southern fried chicken burger. This is a chicken and cheese cheeseburger. <gasps> cheeseburger and curly fries <laughs> times two. Well, there's dinner. We've got some bread that's got today's date on it. I think oh it's got today's date on it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, so that can go in the freezer for toast. And Phoebe's favourite. So we have got three white chocolate chip cookies and and then we've got six double chocolate chip cookies. Wow. Oh, that is a Look at this. And Lydia's not here, but I reckon we can keep some of this for her. Not this, I'm having this. <laughs> Right, come on then, let's have a feast. Yes. It's a very healthy feast. It's a feast. <laughs> but it will taste nice. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Dan, yes. that was the first time you've come with me to get the magic bag. How was your experience? Um, well, firstly, it was just nice to have a nice long walk. Yeah. Um, but the experience of getting the bag was... Sorry about the dishwasher, by the way. ...was brilliant. There's so much stuff. Such a bargain. And, you know, we'll use it all. Yeah. Um, so very happy, and now I'll get to eat a giant chocolate chip cookie for my pudding. Would you say a belated happy anniversary to Patty O'Malley? Belated happy anniversary, Patty O'Malley. Yes, she wasn't very well on her anniversary oh, no. on Wednesday, so get well soon. Yeah, hope you feel better. Get better. well soon, Patty, and I hope you had a lovely anniversary. Have you done all the other birthdays today? Uh, yes. Oh, well, happy birthday, everybody. Happy anniversary. I feel so, um, that was the, the most unhealthy dinner I think I've ever had. Yeah, but to be fair, we don't eat like that very, very often, so it's okay to do it every um, now and again. We don't eat like that at all, <clears throat> and I, Phoebe and I have just said we're going to have to have a little fruit salad each to try and counteract it. Might do some press-ups before <laughs> yeah, bed. Yeah, have to <laughs> run around the garden. <laughs>